What's up everybody, my name is Moss Norman and in today's video I'm going to introduce you to variables and templates in Grafana. Variables and templates allow you to make more dynamic dashboards in Grafana. For instance, you might have multiple virtual machines that you want to monitor metrics for. And the metrics that you want to monitor across all those virtual machines are the same. For instance, you want to know CPU utilization across all of those VMs. One way to approach monitoring those VMs in Grafana is creating a dashboard for each virtual machine that you want to monitor. But a more efficient way to approach monitoring those VMs since you're monitoring the same metrics across each VM is using templates and variables. These will allow you to have a single dashboard and from that single dashboard you can select which VM you want to monitor resources on. For example, if we take a look at the dashboard that I just created here, um, I have up at the top a drop-down list and this label called Select Instance. And I can select which, uh, these are essentially virtual machines. Um, I can select which virtual machine I wanna monitor and when I select it, it'll update all of the panels in this dashboard accordingly. In this video, we're not gonna be monitoring VMs though. I'm going to create one variable and one template to monitor a specific metric on two Jenkins servers. So on this VM, I have two Jenkins servers, one running on port 8080 and another uh, Jenkins server running on port 8081. And the metric that I wanna track on both of these servers is job duration over time. So let's take a look at what the uh, dashboard for uh, my Jenkins server looks like right now. If I take a look at the dashboard, I have, it's a very simple dashboard with just a single panel called job duration. And right now, if I uh, open this up and take a look at the query, it's uh, querying using the Prometheus plugin, and the query itself is hard-coded to pull metrics from localhost 8080. So it's not, uh, I'm not getting metrics for the Jenkins server running on 8081. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable so that we can select uh, which Jenkins server that we wanna monitor job duration on from just this single dashboard rather than having a second dashboard for uh, the Jenkins server running on 8081. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to uh, select dashboard settings. And in dashboard settings, I'm gonna select variables. I'm gonna select add a variable. And the name of the variable uh, we're gonna call instance. And the type of variable is query. So uh, we're gonna get the variable value through a query, a Prometheus query. And then the label, we're gonna say select Jenkins instance. Okay, so this is gonna show up on the top left of the dashboard. The data source is Prometheus, and then uh, down here we can actually uh, select which, um, uh, we can enter a, 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 Pr a Prometheus query. So in here, I'm going to query uh, jobs that are up, and I'm going to select um, job equals Jenkins. Okay, and from uh, that query, I get two uh, values. It previews the values that I'm gonna get from that query. And I get uh, a lot of additional information. Really all I want is this value here. I want the, the value of instance. So uh, I can add a regular expression here and I'm gonna do that to pull out just the value of the instance. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, dot star instance equals quotes dot star question mark dot star. Okay. And now we have just the values that we want uh, which are uh, the instance value. Okay, so that looks good and I'm going to click add. So now we have this instance variable and if I go back to, uh, to the dashboard, I now have our label, select Jenkins instance, and then a dropdown list where I can actually select which Jenkins server uh, I want to monitor job duration for. And I can select 8081 or I can select 8080. Now the problem is uh, the query inside of the job duration panel is still hard-coded to, to query just localhost 8080. So you'll notice, even though I select 8081, I'm still getting in the legend just 
localhost 8080. So we also have to create a template, which a template is just a variable used in a query. So uh, to create that, I'm going to uh, go in and edit this uh, panel. I'm gonna edit the query itself, and I'm gonna replace the hard-coded value with um, dollar sign instance, and then this is going to pull from the selection here. So now you'll notice that as soon as I entered that, the, the metric updated accordingly, and now I'm getting 8081 metrics instead of uh, 8080. So let me go ahead and save the dashboard. I'm gonna say adding variable and template for job duration. Click save, and now I can switch uh, between each of these Jenkins servers, and I get uh, different values for each. So this saved us creating two separate dashboards, and it makes it a lot easier to monitor metrics. You can imagine if you had, uh, you know, in this case we only had two Jenkins servers, but imagine you had uh, 10 VMs that you had to monitor CPU utilization for. Uh, it would be pretty time consuming, tedious, and inefficient if you created multiple dashboards to monitor the same metrics across all of those VMs. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider throwing a like on it and subscribing to the channel for more videos. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching.